Since 1984, Mike Lazaridis has been the toast of the technology industry in Canada. He founded Research in Motion and helped launch the BlackBerry as the company's iconic device. The BlackBerry's adoption by big business stemmed largely from the way it allowed users to receive emails effortlessly and send them with maximum security. They're highly encrypted, meaning sensitive documents can't get snooped on after they're sent. And in certain parts of the world, BlackBerry's answer to instant messaging, BBM, has proved a runaway success too. The, the BlackBerry is iconic with communications, with instant messaging, with corporate push email. You know, BBM has become a, you know, this amazing success story with consumers and teenagers and young adults. You know, they're calling it the, you know, they, they, they talk about BBM as a flirting device in, in the United States. I mean, this is amazing. It's a social networking powerhouse. More recently, though, the luster of the BlackBerry brand has begun to dim. Silky smooth iPhones and other smartphone rivals have entered the fray, presenting even ardent BlackBerry loyalists with an unparalleled choice of connected devices, even though none offer quite the same email security. Introducing the world's first professional tablet. So RIM is reinventing Playbook. itself with a new operating system and a different type of device altogether. The Playbook, which has just been released in the United States with other countries to follow shortly. The next decade is all about mobile computing, something we envisioned back in the 90s. You know, this whole idea of ubiquitous wireless mobile computing. And this is the powerhouse that we've been looking for to really unleash that user experience. Mike was keen to stress to me how social the device is, showing me how you take a cable, plug it into a high-def TV and show off movies to family and friends. Granted, this might seem a bit retro when other gadgets can achieve this wirelessly, but the playbook can also display something else on its own screen at the same time, useful perhaps for business presentations. It all shows off the playbook's considerable grunt, all courtesy of a powerful processor, which also provides hardware acceleration for flash video, as well as recording high-def images from one of its two onboard cameras. In other respects too, the firm's gone out on a limb to differentiate the playbook from the rest of the crowd. It sports a 7-inch rather than the more common 10-inch display. Pocket-sized? Well, almost. Somewhat bizarrely, it doesn't yet have a separate out-of-the-box email facility. Instead, to get your email, you hook up via Bluetooth to your BlackBerry, which when tethered also provides the playbook's mobile data connection. Uniquely, it also runs on RIM's own operating system, QNX. It seems to be fast and lightweight. Right now, though, it also suffers from a shortage of apps, some 3,000 compared to many times that number for Android and iPad tablets. Nevertheless, despite this shortcoming and some very lukewarm reviews after the launch a couple of weeks ago, the BlackBerry CEO is bullish about the Playbook's prospects. So... If it's a three-horse race, you're saying it's Apple, Android, and BlackBerry. Is that how you define the market? You know what? I think that um, there's a lot of choice for the consumer. I think that consumers will appreciate the quality that we provide, the performance we provide, and the portability we provide, which is what we are known for. And I think that that will differentiate us from all the Android clutter, and I think it will provide a... a um, a, a, a opportunity and experience which is unique to our comp competitors. And as we start focusing the entire company on the playbook platform for our super phones that are coming, we'll have one incredibly powerful, secure environment that people can now support. But it's precisely RIM's USP, that rock-solid security, which has seen the company lock horns over the past year or so with various governments across the Middle East and Asia. From Indonesia to India, governments singled out Blackberries as a threat to their national interests. Indian officials, for example, said they feared a repeat of the 2008 Mumbai attacks, which they say were partly planned using encrypted email. RIM says in general it will allow governments so-called lawful access to messages in its BBM service under very restrictive conditions, only, for example, if due legal process has been followed. But it insists that encrypted corporate emails are a different beast altogether, as even the company itself 
doesn't have the master encryption keys needed to decipher the emails. India has indicated that's not good enough and a ban on BlackBerry services still looms. So, with the matter still apparently unresolved, it was a question I was keen to address. I wasn't fully prepared for what followed. Can I move on to the problems you've had in terms of security and your, your various arguments with uh, the Indian government and a uh, number of governments in the Middle East? Uh, is that anywhere near being sorted out? Um, Sorry, Rory, that's not That's, that's just not fair, Rory. Um, and we, we're really up on time. Is there one more question you want to ask? Because first of all, it's not a secu- we have no security problems. We've we've got the most why, why secure platform. Why is that platform. a fair question to ask? It's well, because you said issue. you implied that we have a security problem. We don't have a security problem. Well, you have an issue. Have a no, no, we don't. We we we've just been singled out, right? Because we're so successful around the world. It's an iconic product. It's used by business. It's used by leaders. It's used by celebrities. It's used by consumers. It's used by teenagers. I mean, we just singled out. You know, that's just because of our success. But is that being sorted out now? You, you're confident that that issue is being dealt with? We're, we're, we're dealing with a lot of issues. And I think that um, you know, we're doing our best to, uh, to, to deal with, with the kind of expectations that we're under. And you're confident that we, we've got a lot of um, uh, listeners in, and viewers in the Middle East and in India. You, you can confidently tell them they're going to have no problems with being able to use their Blackberries and you being able to give them assurance that everything... Um, All right, so Sorry, it's over. Rory, yeah, Interview's over. We're, we're up on time. Is that Please, you can't use that, Rory. That's just not fair. That's not fair. Well, uh, Sorry, it's I not fair. Saying, We've dealt with this. Come on, this is a national security issue. Turn that off. Founder and CEO of Research in Motion, Mike Lazaridis, taking offence at Rory Kathleen Jones' line of questioning there. Now, we had quite a reaction to that interview when we tweeted about it, so in response to your comments, we've put the full interview, unedited, at our website. Now, 